what's going on you guys and welcome back to another Luma Fusion and Affinity Photo tutorial. Now in this tutorial we're going to make some selective colors. Selective colors is basically where you maintain one or two colors of which you want to keep and you gray out the rest. So for instance in this photo right here we have kept the flower or the yellow of the flower and the red inside and we washed out the green which is around. Now you can easily make this with the um, a third party app like Affinity Photo, but making it inside of LumaFusion is fairly hard, almost impossible. It is impossible. But I have one one trick you can uh, apply uh, extremely fast to make a, an, like a selective color preset look if it doesn't have a lot of color mixes in the photo. Now I'm gonna go through that as well. But mainly this is for Affinity Photo and the reason why I chose to use Affinity Photo is because this is the main third party app that I use with LumaFusion and I love it so much. So again, if you don't have Affinity Photo, I recommend that you get it. Even though I'm not sponsored but to say anything about Affinity Photo, I just find it so useful. It's so darn good. Now to keep this one short, for the change, uh, we're just gonna jump over to LumaFusion and Affinity Photo right away and then start making these uh, presets will, which you can make, save and apply to your videos or photos inside of LumaFusion. Now, once we get over to LumaFusion, you can already see that I've placed four photos on the timeline. And we're gonna make some selective color presets for these photos. Now for the first one here, we're gonna try to maintain the orange, red, brownish color of the dog. On this one, the pink on the flamingo. On this one, the yellow and red inside the flower here. And on the last one, we're gonna maintain the color of her face. Now making selective color presets inside of LumaFusion is fairly hard, almost impossible. It works on certain clips which doesn't have that much of color mixes to them, like this for example, but Applying it to this will not make this photo, even though these are almost kind of the same, but that preset will not make this look good. Now, let me show you the fast example of how you can do this if you don't have Affinity Photo or any program similar to Affinity Photo. Now we've gone into edit on this photograph right here, and we're gonna go over to color preset and add the original. And simply by taking the vibrance down, you will see that we wash out most of the green and we maintain her skin tone. We also take away some of the red lips here, but that's what you get by doing this in Luma Fusion. Now, if we do the exact same thing on the photo before here, go into edit and then add a original color preset, take the vibrance down, you will see that the yellow is also being dimmed down. So making selective color LUTs or color presets will be the best way to do this for LumaFusion and for your LumaFusion videos and photos. And we're gonna do that in Affinity Photo. Now, if you don't have Affinity Photo, you can always choose something which is similar to Affinity Photo, if it's either free or if it's another program. But personally, I like to use Affinity Photo, so that's what we're gonna do in this tutorial. Now let's move over to Affinity Photo. And let's start with the flower. So we're gonna select the flower. And once we have the photo inside of Affinity Photo here, we're gonna move over to the adjustments, which is here. Now we're gonna tap on adjustments, which is right below the pencil tool. We're gonna go down until we find HSL, which is here. We're gonna select that. And here you can see that you get the color wheel and the range and you have the opacity and where you can save presets and so on. Now we're gonna go on and tap on the color wheel so we can start manipulating the colors. Now this is fairly simple. It's all about maintaining the colors which you want to have in your uh, selective color and then remove the others. Now we don't want any pink so we're gonna select the pink. We're gonna take the saturation down to zero we're gonna move over to blue, saturation down to zero, turquoise the same, and green the same. Now you can already see that we washed out most of the green, but we still have some green left here. And that's simply because some of that green is having some yellow in it as well. That's why it's not getting removed. However, you can change this easily by moving the sliders here, which you see the four different knobs here, by adjusting those so you gray out the part around here 
of the uh, different colors, but not the color that you want to maintain. So let me show you the example here. We're gonna move over to yellow. And here you can see that we have, uh, it's going from uh, red pinkish all the way down to uh, yellow greenish. That means we're gonna take the knob here and we're simply gonna drag that towards the uh, yellow. We're gonna take the yellow one, a little bit more towards yellow and then follow with the green. And we're gonna do the same on the opposite side here. Now, one more thing is to go over to the red. Make sure that we move the slider so it's in the correct position here. Just like that. And now once we place the yellow and the red here, so they are both yellow orangish, we can move over to the green, which is what's remaining here with the green yellowish. And we're simply gonna take the knob here drag over towards the yellow. And as you can see, when I'm dragging this towards the yellow reddish side, the yellow is getting darkened and faded out a little bit. And we also remove some of the remaining greens there. And we want to have the gray circle here, which you have around here. We want that to cover everything except for the yellow. So we're gonna take this one and keep it exactly here. And then we're gonna take the other side and move around like that. Then we're gonna follow with the next one and the green one towards the yellow. And now that we washed out most of the green yellowish colors around here, uh, you can also see that we removed some of the red inside the flower. So if we want to maintain that and get that back, we can simply take the slider, which is on the red here, the little circle here, and drag that towards the opposite side. And you can now see that we got some of the red back into the image. So now that we finished with the selective color yellow, we're simply gonna go over to the move tool, tap on that one time, and then we're gonna go over to the save button, which is uh, next to the three dots here. Tap on that, and we're gonna tap on export LUT. Now, once we get over to the export LUT section, we're gonna leave everything as it is. We're gonna leave it at dot cube. You can change this to dot 3DL if you wanna do that, but I personally always use dot cube. Now we're gonna select a file name here and uh, let's uh, choose um, yellow, yellow selected or something like that. And we're gonna tap on export. Now we're just gonna save this on my iPad and uh, once the export is complete, we can move over to the files folder here and we go over to our iPad and scrub down until we find the selective color preset. Here you can see that we have the color preset. Now, since this is a .cube file, it will most likely import automatically into LumaFusion once we tap on it. And if you don't have the LumaFusion icon showing here in the middle, you can simply tap hold on the file, tap on share and open in LumaFusion. Now, if we move over to this uh, clip here and just uh, enter the edit and delete this original, we have the original photo back, move over to the alert section and let's scrub down until we find yellow. Now, once we go all the way to the end here, you can see that we have the yellow selective uh, LUT color preset here. And the only thing we have to do is to tap on that and it will be automatically added to the photo or to the video. And now we can see before and after. Now let's move over to the next one here and let's uh, take the dog. So on this one, we need to maintain the uh, brown, red, yellow, orange-ish colors and wash out the blue and uh, turquoise colors. So let's move over to Affinity Photo and start making a selective color preset for this as well. Now, once we got the photo over to Affinity Photo, we're gonna go over to the same button here, Adjustments, and we're gonna find HSL, which is here. Now we're gonna select that and do the same thing. We're gonna go over to the color wheel here and we're gonna go to pink. But since we might want to keep the pink of the uh, tongue here, we're gonna go straight over to blue and then saturation zero and the turquoise one and then saturation to zero as well. And as you can see, that's about everything that we needed to do with this uh, selective color. 
Now we can go over to the uh, move tool, tap on that, then over to the uh, export button here. And the reason why I tap on the move tool before I do anything is uh, this move tool is sort of working as an exit uh, button. Uh, and if you just tap on anything else, this might reset. So that's why I always tap on the move tool before I export anything. Now we're going to export this as LUT as well. And we're simply going to call this for yellow, even though it's not yellow, but that means it will be at the end of the LUT selection list inside of Luma Fusion. Now, once we've done that, we can move over to file folder again. And here you can see yellow. So we're going to tap on yellow and uh, we're going to let it finish uh, importing. I'm going to select the clip, go into edit on the clip. And then we're going to go over to the alert section here, all the way to the bottom. Let's see here if we can find it and we have it here. So we're just going to tap on that and we have the selective color added to this clip as well. Now we can see before and after. Now we also have the pink one here and uh, this has some blueish inside of it as well. So we're going to try to do the same thing with that one just to see how that works. And on this one, the same thing again, adjustments and then HSL over to the color wheel, go to the blue, desaturate that one saturation to zero on the turquoise as well. And um, if you want to keep it like this, you are also done with the selective color of pink. Now you can go to the green and a yellow and a red as well to remove that. And as you can see now, we have only the pink remaining. So we have the pink in the shadow here, which is a reflection from the sun. We have some of her hat as well, and we have the flamingo. Now we can save this as well, export a lot, and we're gonna just take yellow two, and we're gonna save that files folder. And once that is saved, we can move back to our files folder and it will be here. So we simply tap on that and we select the clip that we want to apply the selected color to and go into color and effects. Scroll down until we find the selective color and we simply tap on that and we have everything applied here again. Now this is before and this is after. Now with that said, that's the way that you create your own selective color presets with the help of Affinity Photo to use in LumaFusion when you are editing your videos or your photo slideshows. It's really simple to do, it's really simple to save, but you might have to spend some time adjusting the different sliders if you don't find it to be perfect right away. And uh, you can always make a different type of uh, selective color presets. You can make one red and then you can adjust it a little bit and then you have another red, adjust it a little bit and then you have the third red selective color. This means that if you're going to use selective colors and in every single photo you take, there is different, there is, there is different color mixes, which makes it better if you have more of one selective color. Let's say you have those three red selective colors. Maybe the one that you first made didn't work for the photo which you are trying to apply it to, but luckily you have made two others. So maybe number three is the perfect match for that one. So you don't have to go into Affinity Photo and or and any other different app and then create left after left after left after left, left after left, left. You, you, you know what I mean. But anyway, by making many of them like one to five at, this, at the same time, once you're in it and already working on it, that will save you some time in the future as well. So yeah, that's something to consider as well. Now, let me know if you upload this to Instagram as well. Make sure that you tag me so I can check it out, even if it's a video or if it's just applied to a photo, which you take a snapshot of in LumaFusion and then apply or post that snapshot on Instagram. And with that said, if you're new to this channel and if you haven't already, subscribe button, that would be appreciated. And um, again, let me know what you think of the Osmo 
action recordings, which I did in the previous video. Was it good? Was it bad? You want to see a review of it? Um, just let me know in the comment section below as well. And with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.